TV show title, Age of Navigation, Rise of the Great Nations, Episode 8. Summary. Episode 8 of CCTV's Age of Navigation, Rise of the Great Nations, TV show series offers an extensive examination of the Age of Navigation and its profound impact on the rise of European powers. The episode presents a comprehensive analysis of the political, economic, and social changes in Europe from the 15th to the 17th centuries, with an emphasis on maritime exploration, trade, and empire building. By showcasing key players, events, and examples, viewers gain a deeper understanding of how the age of navigation shaped world history. The Age of Navigation The Age of Navigation, spanning from the 15th to the 17th centuries, is characterized by European maritime exploration, trade, and empire building. A range of technological advancements in shipbuilding, navigational instruments, and cartography, such as the caravel, the astrolabe, the compass, and the development of more accurate maps. Allowed European nations to undertake long voyages and discover new lands, resources, and trade routes. Portugal and Spain's pioneering roles the episode highlights the pioneering roles of Portugal and Spain in the Age of Navigation. Portugal, under the leadership of Prince Henry the Navigator, invested in maritime technology, exploration, and the establishment of trade routes along the African coast. The Portuguese explorers, such as Bartolomeu Dias, who rounded the Cape of Good Hope in 1488, and Vasco da Gama, who reached India in 1498, successfully established direct maritime trade routes to India and the East Indies, bypassing the traditional land routes controlled by Muslim powers. The Portuguese also established trading posts in West Africa, leading to the growth of the African slave trade. The Portuguese exploration and trade along the African coast laid the groundwork for later European colonization and the eventual Atlantic slave trade. Spain, driven by a desire to compete with Portugal, sponsored the voyages of Christopher Columbus, who discovered the New World in 1492. The Treaty of Tordesillas, 1494, divided the world's unclaimed territories between Spain and Portugal, with Spain gaining control of most of the Americas and Portugal maintaining its dominance in Africa and Asia. Spain's conquest of the Aztec and Inca empires, led by Hernán Cortés and Francisco Pizarro, respectively, secured vast amounts of precious metals, such as gold and silver, which greatly enriched the Spanish economy. The Dutch, English, and French Emergence The episode progresses to highlight the emergence of the Dutch, English, and French as major players in the Age of Navigation. The Dutch, initially focused on domestic and regional trade, gradually became a dominant force in global trade. They established the Dutch East India Company, VOC, in 1602 and the Dutch West India Company, WIC, in 1621 to capitalize on trade opportunities in Asia and the Americas. The Dutch Golden Age saw the rise of cities like Amsterdam as global trading hubs, with the Dutch dominating the European market for luxury goods, such as spices, silk, and porcelain. In addition to trade, the Dutch excelled in shipbuilding and seafaring. Their ships, known as flutes, were designed for maximum cargo capacity, making them ideal for long-distance trade. The Dutch also pioneered new techniques in cartography, producing some of the most accurate and detailed maps of the time. England, under the reigns of Henry VII and Elizabeth I, began to invest in maritime technology and exploration. The English East India Company was established in 1600, facilitating trade with Asia, and English explorers, such as Sir Francis Drake, 
who circumnavigated the globe between 1577 and 1580 and Sir Walter Raleigh, who established the Roanoke Colony in North America in 1585, contributed to the expansion of English influence in the New World. Additionally, the English Navy became a dominant force, successfully challenging the Spanish Armada in 1588, which paved the way for England's growing influence in the Americas and Asia. France, under the reign of Louis XIV, also sought to expand its overseas territories and trade. French explorers, such as Samuel de Champlain, who founded Quebec City in 1608, and Jacques Cartier, who navigated the St. Lawrence River and claimed parts of modern-day Canada for France. Established Colonies and Trade Networks in North America The French East India Company, founded in 1664, focused on trade with the East Indies, competing with the Dutch and English for dominance in the region. The Impact of Maritime Trade The episode examines the impact of maritime trade on the economies of European nations during the Age of Navigation. Trade in valuable commodities, such as spices, silk, and precious metals, fueled economic growth and led to the rise of powerful merchant classes. The increasing wealth of European nations was also used to finance wars, consolidate political power, and support cultural and scientific advancements. One example of this economic impact is the price revolution in Europe, a period of inflation caused by the influx of precious metals from the Americas. This inflationary period had a profound effect on European economies and societies, leading to the rise of capitalism and the eventual decline of feudalism. The establishment of joint stock companies, such as the Dutch East India Company and the English East India Company, allowed for the pooling of resources and risk-sharing, further contributing to the growth of capitalism. Colonization and the slave trade, the colonization of new territories by European powers, particularly in the Americas, is discussed in the episode as a significant aspect of the Age of Navigation. The colonization process often involved the exploitation and subjugation of indigenous populations and the establishment of plantations that relied on the labor of enslaved Africans. The episode acknowledges the role of the slave trade in contributing to the wealth and power of European nations during this period. For example, the triangular trade, which involved the transportation of enslaved Africans to the Americas, the shipment of raw materials such as sugar, cotton, and tobacco from the Americas to Europe. and the export of European manufactured goods to Africa, greatly enriched European economies and facilitated the growth of the Atlantic slave trade. The episode also discusses the horrific conditions faced by enslaved Africans during the Middle Passage and the impact of the slave trade on African societies. Technological and Cultural Exchange the Age of Navigation facilitated technological and cultural exchanges between different regions of the world. The episode highlights the introduction of new plants, animals, and technologies to the Americas, Europe, Africa, and Asia. These exchanges led to the development of new agricultural practices, the spread of new foods, and the introduction of new technologies and innovations. The Colombian Exchange, for instance, saw the transfer of crops like potatoes, tomatoes, and corn from the Americas to Europe, Africa, and Asia, while crops like wheat, rice, and sugarcane were introduced to the Americas. These agricultural exchanges had far-reaching effects on global food production and cuisine. 
The exchange also led to the spread of diseases, such as smallpox, which had devastating effects on indigenous populations in the Americas. The episode also highlights the influence of non-European cultures on European art, literature, and science. The knowledge and technologies from Asia, Africa, and the Middle East, such as Chinese porcelain, Indian textiles, and Islamic mathematics, greatly enriched European culture and contributed to the Renaissance and the Scientific Revolution. The Rise of the Great Nations The Age of Navigation played a crucial role in the rise of the great European powers, as maritime exploration, trade, and colonization reshaped the political, economic, and social landscape of Europe. The episode concludes by reflecting on the lasting impact of the Age of Navigation on world history, emphasizing the emergence of global trade networks. The development of modern nation-states, and the profound cultural exchanges between different regions of the world. In summary, Episode 8 of CCTV's Age of Navigation, Rise of the Great Nations, TV show series offers an in-depth analysis of the Age of Navigation and its impact on the rise of European powers. The episode covers key players, events, and examples, highlighting the role of maritime exploration, trade, and empire building in shaping world history. It also discusses the technological and cultural exchanges facilitated by the Age of Navigation, as well as the lasting impact of this period on the development of the modern world. By providing a comprehensive and detailed account of the Age of Navigation, the episode showcases the complex interplay of exploration, trade, colonization, and cultural exchange that defined this era. It demonstrates how European powers utilized maritime technology and resources to expand their territories, exert influence over other regions, and amass wealth. The episode also acknowledges the darker aspects of this period, such as the exploitation of indigenous peoples and the Atlantic slave trade. Emphasizing the need to understand both the achievements and the atrocities of this pivotal time in world history. Ultimately, the Age of Navigation, Rise of the Great Nations, TV show series helps viewers appreciate the complexity of the historical events and processes that shaped the modern world. Episode 8, in particular, offers a thorough examination of the Age of Navigation, providing valuable insights into the factors that contributed to the rise of European powers and the global impact of their actions.